So today we are back with Mr. Rodney Dangerfield. And this one right here is another one uh, that I want to check out. And this one's called Rodney Dangerfield has Dumb DeLuise rolling on the floor laughing. I don't know who Dumb DeLuise is. I don't know if that's the host of the show or whatever the case may be. But y'all let me know down below in the comment section. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. What a crowd, what a crowd. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I'm all right now. The seven hours in rough shape, though, you know? And my wife, she started in again, you know? She keeps throwing up to me. I went to Las Vegas and went broke playing the slot machines. Oh, Vegas, I got slot machines over. Even in supermarkets. I went into our container of milk, cost me $238. Damn. Now, I'll tell you the truth, I had trouble with my wife before we got married, you know? We went together for six months, then she gave me the air, told me it was all over. I said, to what's the matter? Is there somebody else? She looked at me. She said, there must be. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what, my wife, I never got no respect, no respect at all, you know? We were going steady. She told me, don't talk about sex until we get married. We got married. She told me, now you can talk about it all you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm married 20 years. All I get is smart answers and bad cooking. My wife's cooking, forget about her cooking. But the other night I left over a hamburger. She used it to scrub the sink. Oh, God. What? Well, you had to come and get it. My house is try and eat it. <laughs> the problem with me is I'm too easy going, you know? Okay. Like this afternoon I had a bite to eat in a restaurant. I got busy. I had to share a table with someone. He sat down an old man. Must have been in his 80s. I mean, this guy was old. I asked him to pass me the salt and pepper. He had to make two trips. <laughs> Oh, I never get lucky in restaurants. I had dinner last night in a Chinese restaurant. I opened my fortune cookie. And it was a guy's check next to me. What? I said to him, hey, buddy, I got your check. He said, thanks. <laughs> so I meet his wise guys. I was going to take a little vacation, talk to some guy who works in travel agency. He told me I could spend six nights in Puerto Rico. No days, just six nights in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I said to him, well, I do myself days. He says, you can do whatever you want. Just keep out of Puerto Rico. <laughs> Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> that would mean nothing works out, you know? My neighborhood's getting worse. Okay. I told you before, I live in a tough neighborhood, you know? Just okay. last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. What? I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I live, you can't protect yourself. But one day, there was a knock on my front door. I figured I'd play it safe. I opened a peephole. A guy reached in and grabbed me. What? You got to be kidding me. I tell you, my building is nothing but robberies. Every time I close a window, I hit somebody's hands. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. I got to give him that. That was funny. Nothing but robberies over there. But the other night, I took the wife and kids out. I figured I'd play it safe. Left all lights on the apartment, left the yep. radio on, left a note in the front door, the notes that I'm inside. Yeah. Came home that night, I still got robbed. The guy left his own note. He said, I looked all over for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, oh my God. Every time you close the windows, you hurt somebody's That's fingers. That's what happens in my building, John. Yes. <laughs> and I wouldn't lie to you, you know that. No. Nice of you to make the trip out here. It's my pleasure, John. Because over here, you meet so many wonderful, wonderful people full of love here in California. It is, right, do, right. Really. We really work. You really are the nice right. people. Come. In fact, coming over here, I had a cab driver just full of love, you know? Yeah. Really, and this guy kept talking and talking. He was so happy. He told me all the people he had in his cab, you know? And then he described in detail how he had them. It's really, really. interesting. I didn't know that. It's another one I should have tried. Well, out. Love, you, got, you got to take him out of town. You can't no, just trot him right yeah, out. You got to break him in all over, you know. But yeah. he was a sexy cab driver. Oh, I'm was, sexy huh? myself lately. I don't know what it is. Really? I mean, you know, weather, what it is. Very sad. I'd be personal like that. But remember, it can happen to anybody getting sexy. Yeah. Yeah. I went out last week. I tried some new last week. Matter of fact, group sex. Group? Oh, now man. I have a new problem. I don't know who to thank. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a wild party I went to last night. Wild party, oh, huh? What a wild party. No, I wish you were there. Ooh, yes, I like the bed. I got there, I rang the bell, a big naked blonde came to the door. Yeah. And he was the butler. And the butler? <laughs> oh, man. How'd you know he was the butler? Oh, I knew he was the butler because you could tell me his. <laughs> 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 I knew he wasn't the maid, that's I the truth. Yeah. I didn't know that. You gotta be careful here. But I, uh, 
No, but sex is a powerful thing. Yes, it is. Right. It really is. No, as you get a little older, you think it diminishes yeah. at all? No, no, it's sex is a powerful thing. Powerful you know, really. thing, yes, no, it is. I mean, a guy meets a girl, he's not sure if he likes her. A guy takes her out, he'll take her out a few times, spend all kinds of money on her, ask mm-hmm. all kinds of questions, you know. That's yeah. where a dog is lucky, you know. A dog is smart. You know, a dog meets another dog, you don't have to go through all that. It comes out with one smell. <laughs> She's for me. That's it. You know, <laughs> oh. <laughs> And you know what? I love dogs. You love dogs, I love huh? dogs. I, love dogs. <laughs> I, didn't know that. I didn't know that. There you go, Rod. Dogs are very... I work with some great dog acts. Great, great mm-hmm. dog acts, Johnny. Great uh-huh. dog acts. I work with Carmine's Canines. Carmine's great Canines. Act. Oh, great <laughs> acts, yeah. Yeah, great acts. Uh, Laverne and her boxer. Oh, oh. <laughs> Laverne and her boxer. I miss yeah, that act. Yeah, sure. And show business, show business, tough business. Dog acts. You do a great act. You yeah. Know. And show you know how tough show business oh, is. Certainly. Oh, it's tough show business. Oh, boy. Sometimes I think back of all the women I had to sleep with to get where I got. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm I really bet you will. You know that, you know. I was a kid in show business. I never got girls. Never. Yeah. Never. I was a kid in show business. I remember my big score was Baltimore, 1949. A chubby waitress with acting. I remember her very well. I got lucky one night. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, girls always give me a hard time. Never got lucky with girls. In fact, just last night, a hooker made me say please. (laughs) Made you say please? (laughs) But I tell you, Johnny, I count my blessings. Count your blessings. Count my blessings. As long as you have your health. Oh, that's what count your blessings. No, got to count your blessings, Johnny. Got to count your blessings. Um, Thank heaven I'm doing okay today, and I had a tough few years, you know. Yeah, so I, know I paid a lot of dues, Johnny. Worked yeah. a lot of tough joints, you know. Fonzo's knuckle room, remember that? Fonzo's place? knuckle room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was tough, Fonzo. Was he tough? Oh, Fonzo, he was the first one. He started acupuncture, you know. Yeah, with an ice pick. <laughs> oh, <he was> <laughs> Bro, his uh, jokes is hilarious. Is tough, huh? uh, everybody has a tough, I guess. Like, everybody has problems. I met a guy last week with a problem. Oh. Oh, boy, this guy told me he, he had an affair with a girl three months ago. The guy's going nuts. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. He told me what happened was the rabbit didn't die. It just stays in critical condition. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that man come over with these jokes. Problems all over the problems place. All over. But I told you before, and I'm going to tell you again, Johnny. Right. Health, health is, is The whole thing is health. you got to take care of it. As long as you have your health. Take care of you. got to think young. Hobbies, interests. You think young. Right. Mm-hmm. I try to think young all the time. Yeah, I mean, okay. always do that. Can I have a cigarette? Too? Certainly. <laughs> it's not good for your health, though. You know. So I got a crazy doctor that told me to keep smoking if I want to stop chewing gum. So what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same doctor you are? Uh... So Dr. Vinnie Bumbat. Vinnie Bumbat. <laughs> Hi, uh, health is important. I got into astrology late. They got a new interest. Oh, did you? Astrology is very you follow good. Follow that closely. You mean huh? girls? That's all they talk about. It's astrology. Astrology. Sure, astrology. What sign are you on? Do you know? That's what they talk about. I'll tell you, the girls I meet, they're all born under the same sign. Oh, well, what's that? For rent. I... <laughs> uh, you said for you rent. Really your health. I'll tell you, do what I do. What's that? Oh, I'll tell you what I do. What you do? <laughs> Go ahead, not over there. I watch television. I get healthy from television. You get healthy from television. How can you get healthy from watching television? Who's talking here? I'm just watching watch, television? That's right, the commercials, the public service commercials. Uh-huh. They got all right. kinds of tips how to take care of yourself. You know, they're very, very good, really. Tips, huh? I saw one last week, a commercial, a public service commercial was beauty, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a guy came out, he said, hi. My name is Bob. This is my wife, Ann, my daughter, Susie, my son, Bob Jr. Right in front, here's my mom and dad. Now, we've all had VD. <laughs> 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 bro, how did, bro, I'm telling you, it's like it's like these jokes just come to this man's brain so freaking fast, bro. Like it like he just think quick. And I'm telling you, I don't know Rodney Dangerfield that much because this is only my second time reacting to him. But he seemed to me like a person that didn't write his jokes. He just kind of say whatever came to mind and it was just funny. That was the funniest thing I heard when he said every time I close my window down. <laughs> Every time I close my house and wander down, I hit somebody's fingers, which means they always trying to break in. That was hilarious. Wow. <laughs> gotta take care of your health. Gotta, gotta take, take care, care of your health. That's yeah. the whole thing of health, yes. Health. <laughs> and you gotta get the brakes. You yeah. gotta get the brakes. Brakes are important along with good health. Brakes. <laughs> brakes, are, brakes are probably just as important as good health. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I never got the brakes. Never, the brakes? Got, never got the brakes. Never. I was a kid, I never got the brakes. Never. I was eight years old on Halloween once. My old man, he dressed me up. He set me out as the Pied Pipe, you know? Yeah. In two hours, every rat in the neighborhood was following me. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> Never got that Just break. A lot of pressure going for me, Johnny. A lot of pressure lot going of pressure. for me. I'll tell you, it's a lot yeah. of pressure. Uh, How are things going to the club? What was that? <laughs> How are things going at the club? The very one, well, very well. I'm on vacation now. For the oh. month of July, I'm on vacation. Oh, I, I mean, the breeze and I. Remember those acts? <laughs> Who do you have in there now while you're gone? Do you have some big acts in there? Oh, Porter's cleaning up. Oh, Porter's who's in there? I don't know who's in there. <laughs> I'll tell you, he just comes <laughs> up with stuff. There's a lot of pressure going for me. It's just terrible. It's like pressure, like a heaviness. It's always on top of me, that yeah. heaviness. It's always there. Mm -hmm. Other guys wake up in the morning, ah, new day, up and at him. I wake up, the pressure's pressure, the heaviness is waiting for me. Nice, the heaviness. Uh -huh. Sometimes <laughs> I haven't talked to it. I say, hi, heaviness. <laughs> and heaviness looks back at me. Today, you're going to get it good, you know. Oh, man. You'll be drinking early today. <laughs> and I can't drink. I'm a bad drinker. You're a bad drinker? I, I'm, oh, am I a bad drinker? No idea what a bad drinker I am, Johnny. No. When I drink, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm telling yeah. you, I mix them up. Uh, you know, I went out for dinner the other night, had a few drinks before dinner, the waiter came over. I ordered roast beef on the rocks. <laughs> roast beef on the rocks? <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta have memories. Memories. Johnny. Memories are important. You gotta have memories. Memories will sustain you. Memories gotta have memories. memories. That's the whole thing. Memories, memories. Memories. I even talked about vaudeville before, right? Talking about vaudeville before. And I got a picture I want to show you about memories of memories of. Uh, actually, my father was in vaudeville, you know? That's what I heard. He really was. Yes, he was in vaudeville for years. And uh, I have a picture here. I thought you may make it a kick out of it. If you've taken 60 years ago in San Francisco, and my father, he was 20 years old. And in this picture, Charlie Chaplin was 23 years old. My father with Chaplin there. Well, that's true. That's no kidding around. Yeah. All yeah. Right. That's right. Maybe folks like to see my old man with Chaplin over there. I'm going to take a close up. Yeah, if you get a close standing, up. Right yeah, right my there. dad's with a camera, though, and Chaplin's with the dirty. That was 23. Well, he was 23, 60 years ago, San Francisco at position. Yeah, yeah, I could tell you a lot wow. of stories about Vaudeville. That's rather interesting. You want to see one of your old pictures? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my old man was in Vaudeville. Wow. And, Let me picture somebody dug out one of your early publicity pictures. What was oh. this? Do you remember these? These. Phony pictures they would uh, uh, they would take. Take a look at this. Well, look at the monitor. Look at the monitor. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. Remember, the, look oh. at that. He's got a gun with a little doll. That's oh, one of those typical. It's... Oh, oh that wow! Right <laughs> Does that bring? The... <laughs> Where are you going, Rodney? <laughs> <laughs> Rodney like no. <laughs> Leave me alone, he says. Isn't it a beauty? Thought you might want to have that. Oh, it's a beauty. You could have that. Oh, those... I was 19 years you know, old. You didn't know me to apologize. That was, my, that was my first theatrical picture. Now I tell you the truth, what happened? I went. I took the picture straight. I didn't like it. Yeah. The guy told me he got props, so I got props, and then. Uh, I used to do bits with this doll, you yeah. know. I used to do, like, the different ways people would spank their kids, like a barber hitting his kid, you know, like this. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that picture. Okay. We'll be right back after one of these. <laughs> oh, wow. Bro, Rodney Dangerfield, bro. I got a question, though. Did this man ever write his jokes, or they just came naturally? Like, let me know, please. But uh, I definitely got more... Rodney Dangerfield coming to the channel. Like I said, this man is hilarious. If there's any more other comedians that y'all would like for me to cover on the channel, make sure you put them down below in the comment section. And uh, we have made it to the end of the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.